Oh, here we go. It's a better fish right here. Ah, oh, he just let go. Oh no, he's still on. We got here. Fighting nice. guys today we're gonna be doing some paddle boarding and fishing i got my boy patrick over here what's going on patrick what's up man let's do this you ready i am, I am all right, right let's go all right guys so i'm gonna show you uh, we actually using live shrimp i got live shrimp we got two dozens each we got three rods so one rod is set up to to fish with live bait and the other one i got a nlbn so i'll get I try to both of them. I mean, if I'm not getting any action with my with light bait, I'll switch it up to my NLBN. I'm, I'm using a three inch. So you have it, I have everything here. Everything we need. We're taking two crates, a crate each. I'm taking my chair to sit down, I like to be comfortable. And that's it. So stay tuned, it should be a phone. I wanna show you the basic stuff that you need to know for paddle boarding and fishing. Always make sure you bring your paddles. I mean, there's been many times I come to a ramp and I forget the paddles. But yes, here we have both paddles. If you're going fishing, make sure you bring one of these little nets. You don't want the fish getting close and then poking a hole in the, in the paddle, in the paddle board. What I use for comfortable, to be comfortable, I use these chairs here. Let you sit down, stay close to it. I like to take crates to put everything inside. My boy right here has his own crate. I got mine. We're gonna have the baiting tackles right here. Got the life over here. We got live shrimp today. We're using live shrimp, remember? There it is. And we're taking only three rods. You don't want to overkill and take too many things because it gets annoying. So basically, that's all you need. Paddle boards, your tackle box. You need a cutting board just in case you decide to cut some bait. Today we're only using live bait, so we don't really need to do that. But if we catch something nice, I might cut it up. But that's it, that's the basic things you need. And we're ready to go. You ready, brother? I am. All right, I think we're set, let's go. We're gonna be checking out this spot pretty soon. I'm just showing Patrick here. Look, Patrick, dolphins. Major Check out dolphins. what I managed to capture. It was really quick, but it was a great moment. Check it out in slow motion now. All right, we're gonna be going close to this structure right here. And we're gonna stay as close as possible to it and start fishing around it. Might be some trout around here, some nice little mangroves. We're gonna give it a try here. And then I'm gonna show you my favorite spot. How we doing, Patrick? Good, man. All right. Great, brother. everyone once again i want to thank you for watching my videos please don't forget to like subscribe share and hit the bell thank you i appreciate it we'll do a few more yards and we'll just stay around here okay yeah. we'll do a couple of casts here i'm going to be using the nlbn that you see here a three inch my boy patrick right here is going to be using live stream so let's see how it goes.
Now I think a boat is coming our way. <laughs> you're good, you're good, don't panic, you're good. Don't panic, I told you, don't panic. Relax, he can move, he has a motor, we don't. That's it, he moved. <laughs> I told you, don't panic, brother. I'm not getting any no bites here, let's take it in. Let's go to a spot. Oh man, that was a nice one, man. You had a yellow jack right there. That would have been a nice keeper. Let's try to get another one, that's it. Okay. So I decided to come back to my spot. Here, I have caught some really nice mangrove snappers. So we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna target some mangroves. I know the yellow jacks are running and hopefully we don't encounter too many grunts, <laughs> but you know how it is. So let's check it out. Let's see how it goes. All right, all right. We're on here. Little guy, we're on. What we got? Of course, we got a little grunt. Tiny little grunt. Let's release this guy. What you had on was actually a good eat. You can do sashimi with that fish. Really? Yep. That would have been a keeper. That would be some nice sashimi. Yep. You don't know if these fish have tape on them, do you? Some of them do, but they're mainly more in the, like, the deep. Go, here we go. Oh, here we go. This is a better fish right here. Ah, oh, he just let go. Oh, no, he's still on. We got here. Fighting nice. Oh. Oh, we got one. Dude. Let's go. Nice. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's the one, brother. That's the one. We got ourselves a nice keeper right here. All right, guys, got ourselves a nice yellow jack right here. This was definitely going home. You swallow the hook. I only brought one, brother. Here it is, guys. Yellow Jack. Patrick is on over there. Patrick is on on the little one. <laughs> Let's see if we can get my hook back. All right, we got the hook back. Do it again. Yo, you got the little cooler? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What we got here? A nice little mangrove. Mangrove snapper, guys. You guys already know. Jack's healthy right there.
Oh. You on? You look good. You oh, you managed to see it? There was a needlefish with a beak on my shrimp. Oh, damn. I need that cooler whenever you have a chance. Because the fish wants to jump out. Thank you. Alright, there we go, nice seat. We got Patrick over there on a fish. Let's go Patrick. Let's go, you got this. Oh, another one. Alright brother, another yellow jack. Keep it brother, keep it. All for you. Alright. Look at him, he's pretty. Yeah. It's a nice fish right there. If you only knew how tasty they are. I There's no limit on them. Here. Just put them right up, put it, hold on, hold on. Just in the, in the crate? Yeah, meantime, yeah. So I'm getting some bites over here. What the hell is this? Hey, cool it. Switch it up. The light shrimp. Let's see if that one out. Alright, so we were told this spot right here is actually pretty good. There's some big snappers, mangrove snappers on here. Let's see. Oh, whoa, oh, damn. Nice bite. So we decided to come here because we were told it's a good spot full of mango snappers and big ones. Uh, the bite was actually pretty slow at this point here. And not only that, things just went south after that. Check out what happened. Pay attention to my fishing rod that's actually laying down. Oh shit, I lost a rock. Damn. Yeah. Just lost a rod, guys. Oh well. Huh? Shouldn't be that deep. Guys, of course, the Guggen here, the main Guggen myself, dropped the rod. See? Perfecto. But my friend right here, Patrick, and my other friend over here is hooking it up with a flashlight. We're going to see if we find it. So stay tuned. Patrick is going to give it his best try. What's going on, brother? I can't see the bottom. No veo nada. No ve nada. Pues enterramos el fango o oh, oh, la corriente se la hago. ¿Dónde se te cayó? No, te directo aquí abajo. Aquí sí. We tried a few times and nope, we couldn't find it. But it's alright. It belongs to the ocean now. But we didn't come here to look for a rod. We came here to fish, so let's end this well. Let's do this. <laughs> Getting a little wavy out here, guys. Wavy. Go back down.
If you guys are wondering what I lost, it was a uh, Pen Fierce 2500. It's actually my smallest reel, but I loved it, especially for the paddleboard. It was great. So yeah, it was a uh, Pen Fierce 2500 on a small five foot rod. It was an expensive deal, but but yep, sucks that I lost it. But oh well, that means let's go get a new one. Maybe the last fish before we have to go. Oh, what we got here? A nice little mangrove, guys. Nice little mangrove. Might be a keeper. I just don't have the measuring tape. So I'm not gonna measure it. I'm just gonna release it. Check it out. Sorry, the camera was low. Here you go, guys. Let's release this guy right here. Right in the corner. I didn't swallow it. Safe release. Let's go. All right, guys, and we're coming back in. We managed to catch a couple of small mangrove snappers. A, a yellow jacks that I'm taking here. We got two of them, nice keepers. So mom's gonna be happy. The only bad thing that happened was losing one of my rods. It was a 2500 Pen Fierce reel and a small five foot rod. Not a big deal, but then again, nobody wants to lose their rod. Overall, it was great. It was the first time Patrick came out fishing on a paddleboard and he had a good time. But it was definitely another one for the books. Thank you once again, everyone for watching. And stay tuned for the next episode. Until next time.